pre-assemble the linkage down rods. Note that the L and R stamped on the rod ends are for left hand thread and right hand thread only. The left hand thread has a notch on the hex shaft and also has the gold lock nut. Install the needle bearings into the air cleaner bases. Place a bearing on one of the hex bar ends and apply the lock type provided in your kit to the outer side of the needle bearing. And install into the air cleaner base. You want the bearing to be flush with the outer casting of the air cleaner base. The lock type sets up pretty fast so you only have a few seconds once you apply it. You'll want to follow the same steps for the other side's air cleaner base. Note that this bearing must sit flush with the outer casting. Pre-assemble the hex bar. Install the driver's side linkage arm with bolts and lock nuts provided in your kit. Note that we are leaving the nuts loose at this time because further adjustment will be needed later. Install the center pull lever with the Allen bolt loosely fitted onto the hex bar with approximately 60 degrees between the center line of the linkage compared to the center line of the pull lever. Repeat the same process on the passenger side linkage arm. Install the jam nut onto your hex bar end and install the hex bar end into your hex bar. Install the air cleaner base to the carburetor by first installing the air cleaner base gasket. Then install the air cleaner base itself, followed by the velocity stacks, using the nuts and washers provided in this kit. Note the Type 3 kit does not come with velocity stacks. Install the linkage arm extensions. Install the short extension on the driver's side carburetor and the long extension to the passenger side carburetor.
Install the four studs into each manifold. You can use some blue thread sealer on the studs if you like. Now thread the studs into the manifold until there is at least one to two threads protruding from the bottom of the mounting holes. Follow the same steps on the other manifold. You will want to make sure that the intake ports and mounting surface is free and clear of dirt or old gasket material. Now install the intake manifolds using the brass nuts provided in this kit. Follow the same procedure for the opposite side. Install the carburetor base gaskets and then install the carburetors leaving the nuts loose at this time. Install the hex bar by inserting the driver's side end into the needle bearing first. Then lift the passenger side carburetor to align the hex bar to allow the hex bar end to enter the needle bearing. Then lower the carburetor to the manifold and tighten the mounting nuts. Adjust the hex rod ends equally left and right. Slide the linkage arms towards each carburetor and tighten the bolts. Now install the linkage down rods. Adjust the down rods to confirm that the throttle is completely closed at rest and completely open at full throttle. Adjust accordingly, then tighten the down rods to hold adjustment.
Start by disconnecting one side of your linkage down routes. The MPD carbs like to run around 1000 RPM, so adjust the idle speed screw until the engine is running at 1000 RPM. Now you can take your MP Pro sync and place it over the velocity stack of the carb you are working on and get your reading. Now check the other side and adjust the idle speed screw accordingly. What we are accomplishing by doing this is getting the carbs to sync together and run smoothly at 1000 RPM. Now we are adjusting the mixture screws. Turn the screw clockwise until the engine starts to stumble or the screw bottoms out. Then turn it slowly counterclockwise one half turn at a time so you can hear the changes in the idle. This should be between 3 to 5 turns out. If you have to turn them out more than 5 turns your idle jets are too small. We recommend you go to the next size idle jet. Keep an eye on your ProSync. If any adjustments are needed to the idle speed screws, do so now. Reinstall your linkage down rods, making sure the idle does not change. If it does, adjust your down rods accordingly. Check with your ProSync gauge one last time before bolting your air cleaners on. 